I have decided to make a commentary on this video of Imran Hussain. He is pretty pretty excited, no doubt about that, that Russia is changing things, that the status quo has been shaken and it looks like he is rooting for them. Yes, he is rooting for Russia. Let's take a listen at this video and then I'll uh, mention you something very interesting. Now we are saying to you, this is our Islamic eschatological analysis that we are seeing a game changer we're seeing an old world an old world order coming to an end and a new world order replacing it in which power which used to be found uh, founded on godless foundations resting on godless foundations and that power was used to oppress now, <coughs> excuse me, now we see power resting on foundations of faith. Okay, and so he's rooting for the fact that uh, we need to have a foundation of faith in order for the whole world to function properly. Uh, believe it or not, this is something dangerous. Uh, foundation based uh, you know, on faith or, or status quo based on faith or uh, a country that is run based on faith, not Islam. When he says faith, he's not mentioning Islam. He's mentioning about a faith that worships a human being, which is Jesus, Isa al Islam. May Allah have peace and blessings be on, on him. He is saying, uh, this is my problem. Uh, Imran Hussain is saying that we need to embrace new world order based on faith. But this is dangerous uh, because when you are having disagreements, uh, you know, and you're living in a secular country, or if the whole world, you know, the, the world order is based on secular faith, secular uh, belief, then there is a good possibility that those people will compromise sometimes with you. Because these people, the secular, they don't really have any, you know, solid foundation, nor they believe in something that they're convinced about. So what I'm saying is that they are always changing colors. You know, today they, for example, in Australia, in the 19 uh, late 1990s, if you are a LGBT, you'll be in jail. Uh, but now look at Australia; they have legalized. So the point here is that they change color. They're willing to make that compromise. Especially if people are saying we need this to be changed, they will do. Unlike faith-based world order, you cannot change things. They will follow Bible, dot by dot, dot jot by jot. And they are not going to be very, very willing to make any any, any compensation for it. Now, uh, the thing that I really want to make uh, a point here is, dear sisters, uh, when we see Imran Hussein rooting for Russia because Russia is a Christian country, uh, we need to be very, very careful who we are rooting for. I personally believe what Russia is doing is something. Uh, maybe just maybe they had to do i don't support their action in ukraine i will never because every war is evil uh, unless it is being fought for the sake of allah um, and when christian they fight a war uh, like putin they, these wars are not justified he can justify it from the bible because they ha they do not have any strict ruling of who can fight a war and who cannot. In other words, if you are a Christian person, you can just justify your action using anything because there is really nothing there that prohibits you uh, specifically to take such action. But Islam, we cannot go to war unless we meet some condition. So uh, he is, uh, he's amazing. Like uh, <laughs> um, Imran Hussein is uh, promoting Russia, the, his, I mean, the way he's talking right now, if Russia wins, it will be, uh, for, according to his understanding, it will be a win or a victory for the Muslims, for uh, Islam, when we know they're fighting based on uh, Christianity. And a lot of people from Chechnya, they have joined Russian forces because I do not know why, maybe perhaps because they had some treaty some agreement with russian government especially with putin and whatnot um, but I, I mean personally i would not support 
uh, what the Chechen, uh, Chechen Mujahid they're doing, uh, going to Ukraine and just slaughtering innocent people or taking part in it. Uh, what Russia will do after they win, after they have uh, this victory? Are they going to establish Sharia? They're going to establish Islamic laws and principles? No. They are going to be promoting the cross. They are going to be promoting the cross. And this is something we need to be very, very careful because Rasulullah Sallallahu he mentioned uh, in a hadith, and uh, this is a Sahih hadith, and he talks about um, uh, people, you know, the uh, Ahl al-Salibu, they're fighting for the cross. And he's, he mentioned in this hadith very, very specifically that there will be a time between the Muslims and the Romans when they will have sulaha, okay, they will have peace treaty. But all of a sudden, this guy uh, who is follower of the cross, he will speak out. He will be actually shouting. And the Muslims are there because they have sulaha, right? They have uh, peace treaty. So Muslims and this guy from the cross, they're you know, resting in a meadow. This is what the hadith mentioned. فَيَرْفَوْ رَجُلُ Then the man, مِنْ uh, أَحْلِ الصَّلَبُ The man from the uh, cross will stand up and he will say, dear my sisters, فَيَكُولُ um, غَلَبَ uh, He will say uh, that the cross has prevailed. And then there will be a problem. There will be a, a domino effect from this. This will actually trigger a war between the Muslims and the Romans. Just because of this person, he said, the cross has prevailed, Muslims will fight him, and there will be an all-out war. Obviously, there are, there are going to be some other factors, but you get my point. Uh, the point here is that, uh, this is my final point, uh, which is that, dear my sisters, uh, fighting based um, or because of your faith is a totally different game ball. When the secular countries, they're fighting you, they're plundering your land, um, they are doing it because, uh, you know, they are. They sometimes they feel uh, insecure. They they do it for their safety purposes, but at, at the same time there is a uh, system that is holding them accountable. Yes, the West uh, they are doing a lot of things that we do not want them to do. At the same time, the West is still has this system where people are held accountable, um, even though. Uh, we don't see it, but you know they try their best to be as fair and just as possible. Okay, all the countries like U.S., Canada, U.K. There is still, uh, I would say, you know, fair enough. They're not doing a good job. Obviously, France, we know they are just out of the line. Uh, but most of the European countries and U.S., including U.S., they are trying their best to get along with the Muslims. Um, what Putin will do, or if if you have a faith-based system, unless it is Islamic, unless it is Islamic, there will be oppression. In fact, there will be massacre. We have seen it, uh, Salahuddin Ayyubi, when uh, he conquered um, Jerusalem, uh, even Umar al-Khattab during his time, when the Muslims opened Jerusalem, uh, the Christian would come to the Muslims asking them to kick out the, Jew, the Yahudi. Why? Because the Yahudi was creating a lot of problems. And so the Christians will leave and the Muslims uh, would have to deal with the Yahudi. The, pro the point here is that it was all faith-based. The Yahudi were fighting with the Christians. The Christians were fighting with the Yahudi. And the Muslims came and the Muslims were also um, under you know, continuous attack from other Christian countries, uh, from the neighboring you know, country. So the, the point here is that uh, when you have a faith-based world order, uh, they will not tolerate you to practice Islam or have an upper hand. They will probably let you practice Islam, but if you take a look at all of the uh, the Muslim, the Islamic history, you'll find that the Muslims suffered the worst when they were being ruled by religious bigots, uh, not by seculars. So, and I mean, <laughs> take a look at... Uh, and uh, the Srebrenica massacre, you know, in Serbia, what happened there? It is absolutely unbelievable. They fought the Muslims because of their faith. You know, they, they slaughtered the Muslims because of their faith. Uh, we also are seeing same thing in India. You know, this Hindutva all of a sudden came to power through Narendra Modi, and look what they're doing. These are all faith-based. So, 
yes uh, we want faith based world order but that has to be islamic faith based it's not christians or anybody else because they do not f they are not just people they do not follow any adl they have no sense of adl but uh, obviously uh, imran hussein in this uh, in his lectures all the time praising saying yeah we need to have russia win this war so that we have a faith based world order what are you talking about <laughs> What are you talking about, Sheikh Imran Hussain? Um, even the hadith is, you know, talking about an incident where a war will break out because of faith. You know, I mean, Ahl Salabu. Uh, this is the man from the uh, Ahl of, uh, of the cross. And so we need to take all of these things into consideration. I'm not saying you should not listen to Imran Hussain or that you can reject all of these messages. What I'm saying is that whatever you believe, be careful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.